You might like the movie Child's Play, but here's a bunch of people who hated it. Plain forgettable, not true style of horror. Not true style of horror? It's a true style of horror. A uh, serial killer soul gets put into a doll, goes and kills everyone around him. Yeah, it's a Pixar movie. A puppet in a horror film? I don't think so, but he was there. It doesn't involve you thinking so. Gravity, not on my watch. I get that the graphics wouldn't be as good because it was in the 80s, but the action in this film was like the 1966 Batman movie. You, <laughs> you could really tell no one was getting hit. It's a great comedy though. I laughed throughout the whole movie. You should watch yesterday's video. <laughs> it's, it's. A campy horror movie. I don't think any of them look real. You ever watch the rubber axe in the back of anybody that gets hit with an axe? It's fake. It's no snuff film. I have better things to do, like washing my socks. Are you hand washing them? Because if you throw them in a machine, you don't have to do anything. So you can watch the movie. It'll beep when it's done. Not the movie, the socks. <laughs> it's like gremlins, but terrible. How the f is it like gremlins? What? <laughs> Meh. Very unrealistic plotline. Lame. I mean seriously. How did you watch this and then get disappointed that the plotline was unrealistic? That's the mo- How? Oh, I can't wait to see this biopic about a doll that gets possessed and starts killing people. I agree if you saw Ray and were like, this is a little unrealistic, maybe. I think this would have been more effective if it were a graphic novel. Because then they would have taken the graphic novel and turned it into the se exact same f movie they already did. Okay, maybe I will let my niece have my dolls. I said maybe. Don't consider this as an invitation. Oh my gosh, why oh why did I watch this? Why is this movie that's a fiction determining whether or not you give your niece your dolls? Like, do all movies affect you in this way? If you saw Titanic, it's like, maybe I'll, maybe I won't get on a boat. Or you watch The Matrix and you're like, maybe I won't take this blue pill. Even though it's just fucking ibuprofen. <laughs> <laughs> this movie is so stupid it made me angry. How is it that anyone found this scary rather than frustrating? I don't, uh, um, what made you angry about a movie that can't be horror? Are you just angry that this movie came across to you as anti-doll? Right, if that's the case, go grab your pillow wife and be on your way. Hi, I'm Chucky. Wanna play? Yes, Chucky, in 1988, I wanted to play with you, even though you were a doll brought to life by the dying soul of a classically named serial killer. Why would I want to play with a murderous, knife-wielding psycho doll? Because he's still a doll, and I'd punt you into the seventh row, bitch. <laughs> Even if you know you'd win, why? Like, that still wouldn't make you want to play with a psycho knife-wielding doll. Why would you want to do that? That just makes you sick in the head. You could choose the doll that isn't trying to kill you. You're a man who does not recognize red flags. Why didn't they just pick the doll up by the head? The arms weren't long enough for him to stab you, stupid worthless whore. No. 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 Or maybe because, you know, he's holding a knife and could just cut your arm and then cut you over and over again. I don't think the length of the arm has anything to do with the deadliness of a knife. Why, oh why, could an adult not just punt this bastard into an interstate? He must only weigh one pound. Yeah, but he also keeps coming back to life. Like, he keeps getting into scenarios where you think you're done and you're not. Also, it's really hard to think logically if a doll came to life and started running at you with a knife. I know we all think we know how we'd react, but in all honesty, we have never no idea what we'd do. It's a doll. That's not scary. We've never had a grandma that collects porcelain dolls. He escapes. He was a god doll, but now a bad doll. Oh, good doll. The little boy thinks it is a good doll. He is a killer. The doll at the end is burned. Spoilers. Also, your review sounds kind of like one of those Dick and Jane books. <laughs> I've seen better children playing in the park or even my basement. What? Whoa. Anybody who's good at computers, track him down. <laughs> Stupid crap that's so laughable by today's standards. I mean, it was kind of laughable then. We are talking about a doll that came to life and tried to kill people. And 
The doll coming to life and trying to kill people thing has not stopped. They're still making them. Toy Story meets Friday the 13th. Oh my god, cheesy 80s movie with no value. So I like Toy Story and I like Friday the 13th as most people like both of those movies. And you're saying that like taking two things you like and putting them together is bad? Huh, somebody's never had a taco pizza. Now I really want it. Pizza. Another scary movie gets a vote of no thank you. This just says you're not interested in seeing it. So you're just saying you don't want to see it. That's not a review. Your review is literally the equivalent of, oh honey, not for me. <laughs> That's your review. <laughs> Child's Play wants to be taken seriously as a horror flick, but it's difficult to do so when the killer is no more than a foot tall. I don't think it ever at any point during the history of Child's Play they've ever been, you know what, I want to be a respectable movie. But, I mean, you must know what you're talking about because you got that super reviewer mark of you just verbal diarrheaing all over Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> Children are a foot tall and I'm terrified of having them. If I'll use voodoo to be re incarnated, I'll choose a cockroach. I'm sorry, that wasn't the question. Thanks so much for watching us make fun of the stupid reviews of Child's Play. If it's your first time here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the like button. Click on one of the videos on the screen if you want to see another one from us. And until we see you next time, geek out and game on. <laughs>